Okay, hello and welcome everyone to today's video. In today's video, we are going to learn and understand about how to use pattern feature command with an external reference. Now, this is something which, you know, uh, many people don't know about uh, NX is capable of doing that or typical, you know, any other software is capable of doing that. We normally what we think is whenever we create a geometry, we pattern it and it just changes the position or the location or the orientation of the object doesn't really do much in terms of parameters to the object. Now, let us first of all understand what kind of pattern we have to create and let us first understand how we will be able to create it. Now, to do that, we need to first deconstruct this body and see how exactly this body is created. Now, I can clearly see this particular pen is there. Okay. And here it is also named as extrude pen. Okay. Now, if I double click on this pen, you can see this extrusion is created over here. Okay. On top of this body. So, it's a very simple construction. So, let us go into the sketch of this pen. Okay. So this is an internal sketch. Let us go into the sketch of the fin and let us understand what exactly is going on. So here we can see there is a height for the fin, which is coming from the top of the circular edge and going all the way to the top. And here it is going extra 2 mm deep. Okay. That is known as the fin offset just to make sure that it properly goes inside the body and it merges properly. And here we have the draft for the fin and here we have the radius. So we have all the parameters and the sketch looks good and there is no such problem with this particular sketch. Now you can notice one thing in this particular sketch, if I hide the body ab around it. So if, for example, if I hide this body, you can clearly see there is this edge, which is included. Okay. As a reference for the construction of this fin. Okay. Which is ensuring that this fin always remain to mm below this. Okay. Now, whatever, what we normally do, what we, whenever we create a pattern, there is something which is going to happen. So I'm just going to finish the sketch. Okay. And I'm going to cancel it out. And let's see what is going to happen when we start creating a pattern out of it. Now to create a pattern out of it, we are going to go to the home tab. Okay. So it's a very simple explanation of how pattern is going to work with reusable references. Okay. Again, explaining you with the help of reusable references or we say variational pattern generally in that case. So here, what I'm doing is I'm going to the home tab and here in the base group, I will be finding this particular option called pattern feature. So we are typically using this particular option called pat pattern feature. So make sure you also use the same feature. So here we are using pattern feature. So if I click on pattern feature command over here, okay, you can notice pattern feature dialog box is available. I'll just reset the dialog box so that for all of us, okay, this remains the same. Okay. After this example, I'll be also constructing one example for you and showing you, you know, how exactly this thing works. So here in pattern feature, it is asking me to select the features, which I want to pattern. I want to pattern this rib. Okay. Or this fin we can say, and also the blends which are created next to the fence. Okay. To do that, I'm going to select the fin and going to press control and select the blend as well. So both of the selection I have done from the tree. Okay. Right here on the top. Okay. I have done from the tree. So here I have selected the fin as well as the edge blend as the feature to pattern category. Now here I'm going to space in specific vector. Okay. Here in direction one in specific vector, I'm selecting my X axis as my vector. So this is the direction in which I want to create my pattern. It is a very simple thing to do. And I want to use, let's say count and span option. I want to create six copies with a distance of 42 mm. Okay. So technically the first copy is this one, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth copy will be there. And with a distance of uh, 42 mm and the way I'm going to the right, I also want to go to the left. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to activate this option called symmetry. So here, once I activate this particular option called symmetry, the number of copies I'm creating on the right will be same as the number of copies I'm creating on the left. Okay. So it will be totally uh, similar or it will be totally symmetrical in the other case. Now here, if I just try to see the result, okay, of what is going to happen, it will show me a warning. Okay. Just wait. It will show me a warning. It will show me a warning that there are total of four features. Okay. Basically there are total of four of the fins, which are not coming. Technically it's supposed to be five on this side and five on this side, one in the middle. Okay. So here we only have three here. We only have three and one in the middle. So technically this two are not coming. Now, why, what is the reason behind this two are not coming? Because as the pattern is proceeding forward, that offset of two mm is not compensating with the distance. So what is happening? The next trip is totally out of this particular body. Okay. Just to explain you this particular condition clearly, what I'm going to do is I'm just to go, going to go back, you know, behind the pattern feature command. You can stay at this point if you want to. And here I'm just going to change it to none for a while and going to use this option called pattern geometry. This is just for explanation. So if you want, you can try it out or you can just simply see it over here. So here we have six copies with a distance of 42 mm 
and if I show you the results now, symmetrically going, and if I show you the result now, now you can clearly see, you know, why it is failing. The reason for that failure is this gap, okay? And why there is a gap over here? Why there is not a gap over here? Because pin is going extra 2mm inside if you notice, right? So what I want to do is, the problem will be solved, okay, typically, if I, uh, I'll just do some changes again back to this pin. So I'll just go back and change it back to Unite first of all. Okay, now everything is good to go. Now again, I'll select the two features. I'll press Control to do that. And I'll go to Pattern Feature. And I'll keep the settings as it is in the same x-axis. Count and Span, I will have a 42 mm distance for six copies over here. Okay, again activating symmetry. So every setting is the same for this particular example. Now, the thing is what is happening is the last two copies on each side are not coming only because they are not making contact with the body. And why they are not making contact with the body? Because this pin, the way it is constructed, it has to remain 2 mm below that curve. Now, the problem is when you are creating a pattern, you are not considering that curve. Okay, so whenever we are creating that pattern, we are not having any consideration for that particular curve. So what we are going to do now is we are going to tell my software that, tell NX that, Consider that curve which is used as a sketch reference, okay, which was used to construct the extrude. If we consider that, what is going to happen? First of all, let me see the results again. What is going to happen is the fins are going to get a little smaller, okay, as it goes forward. So it is going to go a little down, little down, little down, and they are all going to follow this curve, okay, and they are all going to follow this particular curve. So that is what is going to happen if that, uh, if I am able to do that. Now what we are going to do is for doing that here in pattern method, we are going to select variational. Okay. Make sure here in pattern method, we are going to select variational. Now, once we click on variational, we get this option called reusable references. That means I can reuse some or the other reference. So here inside extrude, we have lot of reusable references. Like we have this coordinate system plane, which we can reuse and this origin point. If I want to reuse, um, there is this X axis direction. If I want to reuse, there is this edge, okay, which is getting highlighted if I want to reuse. So what I'm going to do is this is the one which I'm going to reuse. So I'm going to check this box. Okay. That is this particular edge over here. Okay. So here I have only checked this edge. That is particularly the external reference, which is used for creating my sketch. And now if I hit, okay, or if you can, if you want, you can see the result. I'm pretty sure that the results are going to get generated. Now, if I hit OK, you can clearly see how the fins are constructed. So one fin over here, second fin over here, it's, it is going again 2mm inside, 2mm inside, 2mm inside. And this is how the entire geometry got constructed. Okay. So this is the beauty of using reusable references option inside the pattern feature command. And this is a very practical example for understanding that as well. What will I do is I'll just start a new file just to explain you from the very beginning of what else you can do with this particular option. Now, for example, I want to show you the same example with circular pattern. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, let's say a circular disc. Okay. With a diameter of, let's say 300 mm. Okay. You can also do the same construction with me. There is no problem in that case. So 300 mm circular disc is created. And now I'm going to click on extrude. This is a usual process. So what we normally do, I'm extruding this with the help uh, with a value of 50 mm. Okay. So circular disc of 300 mm with a height of 50 mm. This is what I have created. Ideally, the process is like this. We create a sketch and then we create an extrude. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch again, but this time on the front plane. Okay. I'm going to create a sketch again, but this time on the front plane and I'm going to create a arc, which is roughly created like this. So you can have a visual over here, which is roughly created. So we are not defining any, you know, fancy dimensions to this particular arc. We just roughly created that arc over there. It is the only matter of thing here is it is above the geometry. That's all. Okay. It can be little further away. It can be little, you know, more below than what I have currently over here, but altogether it is above this particular geometry. Now I'm going to click on finish. I'm going to click on extrude for this arc and just going to give it a symmetrical value so that it goes in both the sides and I'll going to click. Okay. Okay. So here I have created two bodies. So body number one is this extrude body. Number two is this particular sheet body or a surface body, which is just going to hang around on the top of this particular body. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the transparency of this body and to do so, I'm going to press control J control J is for controlling the transparency and all. So I'm going to press control J. Okay. J for, uh, you can say like 
for controlling the display for controlling the transparency okay j for jar you can say particularly now i can select this particular surface okay over here i'm going to click okay then i'm going to increase the transparency so once i increase the transparency let's say to about 60% i'm happy with this particular transparency for now i'm going to click okay now why i'm adding transparency over here just to make sure that this looks good you know visually now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to create a sketch okay on the top face of my disk now from here you have to follow it very carefully so here i am creating a sketch on the top face of my disk now i am creating a sketch the sketch is a circle basically over here on the left side or on the right side you can create anywhere you want to circle diameter is not really important okay it should be near the boundary of this particular you know very near to the boundary now i'm going to click on finish i'm not defining any dimension because the goal here is not to create a fully constrained sketch the goal here is to learn or understand how reusable pattern option works now i'm going to click on finish and i'm going to click on extrude now once i'm extruding this i'm going to make it extrude until a selected object so here i'm going to in end uh, limit over here inside extrude i'm going to choose until selected and going to select the surface now again if i'm uh, if you miss this particular part you can click on sketch go to your extrude command and then in end limit i can select until selected and then i can go ahead and select this particular surface okay now here i am making sure it is getting united to the first body itself so here it is getting united okay to the first body and here i am going to click okay so this is something which i have created so far now i can simply hide my second extrude which i just created that surface or that sheet body which we created i can hide that particular thing and now i can see there is a small shaft coming out of this particular disk okay which is limiting it up to that particular surface now what i want is when i pattern every member of that pattern should also limit it to that surface let us see what is going to happen normally so here i'll select extrude i'll select pattern feature okay the last extrude the shaft then i'll choose circular pattern and here in axis i'm going to select my z axis okay with the center point of this disk i'm going to choose count and span span of 360 degree and let's say i want 12 copies or i want 10 copies over here and just see the result so i'll just show you the result now and this is the result looks like without having or without introducing reusable reference so technically currently what is happening everything is going above this particular surface now and tell me you can simply trim it out later on but what if if we, if we can create it in the first place okay so what we need to do is i'll just undo the results get out the out of the result here in pattern method i'm going to choose variational and here in reusable references i'm going to select limit my limit to the target extrude so that is only one reusable reference inside my entire thing because that is the only one which i have referred to so i can now click okay and now i can see the result that everything is trimming up to that surface okay although it's a pattern of this particular feature but it is following the reference of that feature in every instance so this is how you can use or you can have reusable references inside your pattern command itself so i hope this particular video was helpful for you i hope you learned something in this particular video and if you did so please like the video or uh, please comment your thoughts below okay and i would really appreciate if you subscribe the channel and also hit that bell notification icon so that you can stay up to date with all my uploads all my you know recent activities and i can create this kind of content for you very regularly so thank you very much for watching have a great day ahead